Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today, we're so excited to talk about Mroto AI. What if you wanted to add an effect to say just a person or I don't know, a building? With Mroto AI, you can easily and quickly create a simple mask to use with whatever you want. Recolor part of your shot, create space in your shots with separate effects. Want to add text behind an object? Or what if we wanted to create a convincing depth of field that you couldn't get in camera? Not a problem. You can do that and more with Mroto AI. And now on to the tutorial. Once you have installed Mroto AI via an installer, it can be located over in your effects. To apply, simply click and drag onto whatever clip you would like to mask. And you'll see that you are automatically presented with some on-screen controls here. If you hover over each of these tools, it's going to give you a text indication of what these tools actually do. And then you see this little drop down arrow. And if you drop this down, this is where you're going to find your manual tool to draw your mask manually, as well as your manual eraser. Over in our inspector, you can see we have output. We will go over that in a second. Precision, we have accurate, fast, and super fast. So that is just uh, how quickly and how accurately you want to create that mask. I'm going to go ahead and select accurate. I have smoothness, shrink expand, blur, invert mask, and anti-alias is already checked. We're gonna go over these tools once we have actually created the mask. So the idea with this shot is I want to brighten me up while still maintaining all of the information over here in the sky. You can see I'm standing under this dark bridge and I just want to be a bit brighter. So I've got my automatic tool selected and I'm simply going to click and drag and start drawing over the areas that I want to mask. And again, this doesn't have to be super accurate or anything. That is the whole concept of this magic option. And then when I let go, you should see that it is going to go ahead and select that. And it did a pretty good job right off the bat. You notice a few uh, spots right here where my shorts were rather dark. So I'm just going to click and drag in this area so that we can make sure that that's all selected. There we go. All right, looks pretty good. Down in my shoes, you can see that it was a bit dark. So we're just gonna kind of draw in that area. And then boom, there you go. So we can see that all of that is now selected. So the next thing we want to do is track. So we're just going to go down to our tracking options, open this up. You see we have a track backwards, a track forwards, and then a clear button. I'm going to track forwards. All right, and there you go. That is now complete. I'm going to just quickly scrub over this. So the next thing that I would like to do is actually duplicate this clip. So I'm going to press option, click and drag up. On my bottom clip here, I'm just going to deselect Mroto AI so that that is the original clip, but then the clip above is tracked. So with that selected over in my inspector, again, we can see output merged. We can go to mask only. We can go to mask video, which we have the video beneath. So I'm just gonna toggle that off so you can see mask video and then just the video itself. So let me turn the clip beneath back on and there you have it, we are masked. And what I'm going to do is now add a quick correction, color correction here and just kind of brighten me up. And you can see that we can really push this and it is only selecting me right there in the center. So we can brighten me up a bit, go back over to Mroto AI and we can begin increasing and shrinking and expanding and doing all the things that we want to do so that we are getting an accurate depiction of what we want. But there you have it. It was that quickly that now you can see that that is absolutely brighter, looks a lot better, looks a lot cleaner. So I'm gonna show you the difference there, how quickly we were able to do that. All right, so the next thing I would like to show you how to do is mask something that is not a person. So that's the beauty of Mroto AI. You can mask whatever you want. So in this next scene here, we have already used MTracker 3D to apply some text to the street there. And we have this orange cone here or pipe or whatever this is kind of going. I want that to pass in front of our text there. So that is this top clip here. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable that. So again, the process is the same. 
Let's pick up Mroto AI and go ahead and apply this to our clip. We've got our on-screen controls here. We have the magic option. I'm just going to use that. And in this one, I'm just gonna have the precision set to fast. So I've already got that selected. Let's open our tracker, track forward. And I'm gonna click stop because that shot is already past our scene. So there's no reason to continue tracking. Over in our output, I will go ahead and set from merge to mask video. And then boom, you can see that our text is now behind this orange cone here. We can continue to mess with our smoothness, expand or shrink a little bit. And then the blur is really nice. And then boom, it is just passing right in front of our text exactly how we wanted. And we were able to do that that quickly and that easily. All right, so the next thing I'd like to show you how to do, let's mask me and a building together. So I'm gonna duplicate this clip again now that you have seen that process. So we're only masking this top clip and I'm gonna select a point where my hands are all the way out. So we know that we're gonna be following those hands. Let's apply Mroto AI. We can go over and we can go ahead and go to precision and let's change that to accurate because I like that being accurate. And I'm going to use my magic mask here. And I'm just gonna, again, start drawing over me. Cool, and it selected most of me, but I do want to show you if you zoom in a bit, we can see that it's not exactly perfect because I was kind of far away. So I'm gonna show you how to manually fix some of this stuff. So let's select our magic eraser and let's just go ahead and deselect some of this. It, automatically selected a bit for us. Let me go to my manual brush here and you can see we have another on-screen control for brush size. So we can bring that down all the way down to like a single pixel. If we want to zoom in even more, let's go to 600%. And let's just draw on and you can see that we can manually draw that mask in. So if you ever get in a situation where colors are very similar, you know, to a shirt or something in your background, something like that, you can manually go in and fix. You can see that it almost got all of my ear, but not all of it. So I'm just holding down and I'm manually drawing that mask on to pick up those last little bits to really make this absolutely perfect. Awesome, that looks great. So you can also do a mask on something else in the scene as well, if you would like. Let's say that we want this building right here to be masked. So why not? Let's go ahead and just start drawing over this here. And you can see that it automatically selected only that building, which is pretty remarkable. So let's go to tracker. Let's track forward first. Now let's track backward. All right, really cool. So now over in our inspector, we can change this output and then we can toggle this one off. And again, you can fine tune things if you would like with your inspector there. All right, so let's say that I want to add an effect. So I'm just gonna open up my titles and why don't we use M Restyle 2. We can drag it onto these clips here. And of course you're gonna notice because this works as an adjustment, it's affecting everything. I'm going to compound clip my two clips here by selecting those, pressing option G, enter. And then you can see that it is only affecting what has been masked. So really, really cool. And I mean, that's immediate. You can see how awesome that looks. All right, the next thing I want to show you is creating a fake depth of field. All we have done is added the radial blur and that is built in the Final Cut Pro. But of course I am like super blurry as well. So what we're going to do once again, option click and drag up to duplicate our clip. I'm going to turn radial off here and then I'm going to apply Amaroto AI. Let's quickly drag that onto my clip. I want to change my precision to accurate. I have my magic wand already selected and I'm just going to quickly draw. Awesome, looks like it did a pretty good job. Now there is a little bit of a gap here. So I'm gonna use my magic eraser and just kind of draw right in that gap. Boom, there we go. And let's go ahead and track forward. 
So something that I want you to notice is this is actually only masking this top section. That is because this clip was zoomed in. You can see over in transform, I had actually scaled this up. So you are able to mask only certain sections if you would like to, and that is what we're doing here. So you can see it is only masking out my shirt and the top part of my body there. Then I'm going to change my output here to masked video and boom, check that out. Huge, huge difference. I'm going to toggle MRoto on and off. Let me toggle my shot on and off so you can see how much sharper I am. And there you have it. So now we've created this really convincing Helios style bokeh on my scene and it is consistent, it is beautiful, and it's very, very convincing. Especially if you've seen one of these lenses, you know that you can get a really crazy, cool, swirly look like that. But now we have me nice and sharp in our image. And that is about it. Thank you so much for checking out this super quick, basic tutorial using MRoto AI. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.